Hey team, this is Nathan from RunDreamAchieve.com. Today's topic, I'm gonna be covering how to run under a 222 marathon. That comes out to five minutes and 25 seconds per mile or three minutes and 22 seconds per kilometers, over 42.2 straight kilometers. So any athlete that's going after a time like this has to have uh, definitely a some capability, some genetic capability, uh, an extreme amount of discipline, focus and drive in order to run 222 flat or below. Back in 2007, this was my goal. I wanted to run under 222 for the marathon because in 2007, it was a, a 2008 USA track and field Olympic trials B standard time. I was a member of the US Army World Class Athlete Program. I was a 243.36 marathoner. Uh, I ran my debut in the, at the 2002 New York City Marathon for a lung cancer research uh, armed forces team. Uh, we were basically starting in last place, waiting till every runner had crossed the start line before we could start the race. And for every dollar, for every athlete that we passed, uh, Chase Manhattan Bank was donating a dollar to lung cancer research. So I ended up finish starting in, in 32,189th place, finishing in 257th place in two hours, 43 minutes and 36 seconds. So I knew to go from running 614 mile pace to 525 mile pace for the marathon. Again, 243.36 to 2.22 flat was going to take massive amounts of effort on my part. Uh, one of the biggest reasons why I was able to go from 243.36 to 2.19.35 and, and run faster than 2.22 was because I was running faster long runs and I was also running several times per week, um, you know, several times over a, a, a long period of time running well under five minute mile pace. And again, you have to get 525 mile pace um, or 322 kilometer pace to feel more like a moderate effort, like a tempo run, rather than going into oxygen debt early on in a race of that distance. You have to improve your body's lactate tolerance. And so the athletes that are running a 222 marathon are spending a very high percentage of their weekly volume at or far below 525 mile pace or 322 kilometer pace. One of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of athletes making uh, is they're running too many of their weekly miles or kilometers at too aerobic types of efforts. They're running too slow during their, their weekly volume. And they may be doing five to 10% of their weekly volume below goal race pace or at goal race pace. You have to increase that to run 222. I mean, world-class athletes, whether they're middle distance runners or long distance runners, they're running about 40% of their weekly volume at or below goal race pace. So the types of workouts that helped me the most uh, in, in getting to a point where I could run under 220 and run 219.35 um, was, like, like I talk about in other videos, very, very fast long runs. Always, and also focusing on uh, ensuring I was recovering from those hard efforts. So I would always be jogging, I would always jog on my recovery days. I was not caught up with what pace I was running at. Um, track sessions, the types of workouts I was doing prior to breaking two hours and 20 minutes were six one mile repetitions on the track, ranging anywhere from four minutes and 44 seconds to four minutes and 50 seconds per rep at altitude with 60 seconds recovery in between each one of those reps. Now, I didn't get to that type of fitness overnight. Uh, early on when I wasn't very fit, I may start, I'm, you know, I would start my seasons running around 515 per mile repetition on the track. And sometimes I would give myself like three minutes of recovery uh, because again, I wasn't as anaerobically fit. Um, but I just continued to focus on what I was aiming at doing. And it took me five years to get from 243.36 to 219.35. I ran that, uh, the, I broke 220 at the 2007 California International Marathon, uh, finishing in fourth place in the top American uh, in that race that year. So it took enormous amounts of effort. Um, I, I was spending 10 to 15 minutes daily over several years visualizing myself getting under the 222 marathon barrier. So it's a combination of proper mental as well as physical training that's gonna help you break two hours and 22 minutes. Again, very aggressive running to run this fast. Um, so yeah, it does take some form of, uh, of talent, but if you're not working hard, talent in and of itself is not a guarantee you're gonna run a 222 marathon. 
the athletes that are running this fast are combining physical training with mental training. They know how important mental rehearsal is. Uh, athletes that are running under two hours and 22 minutes, in my opinion, are definitely elite level athletes. These are athletes that are fully committed. They're not just, um, you know, lukewarm about running. You know, when I, when I was at my peak and prior to breaking two hours and 20 minutes, all I did was run. I mean, I was obviously focused. I was on, I was in school. I was working a full-time job. Um, and, and so there were other things in my life that I was doing, but I was zeroed in 100% focused on running as fast as I possibly could over that 26.2 mile distance. So if you're planning on running 222 for the marathon, uh, you have to work on your leg speed. You have to get, uh, get beyond just doing shorter tempo runs. You have got to get to a point where you are uh, aiming more toward between 9 and 14 miles in length training at your anaerobic threshold. You have to improve your lactate tolerance to be able to sustain 525 mile pace or 322 kilometer pace. So what that means is yes, you do have to spend once per week running much, much faster than five minute mile pace and much faster than sub three minute kilometer pace. Again, the key thing is, is you have to be able to uh, clear lactic acid faster than it's building up and to sustain the pace more efficiently than your competition. You have to make sure that you're paying attention to all of the variables that go into running a fast marathon time like this. 222 marathon, super, super competitive time that very few athletes around the world achieve each year. You know, there's only around two to 3% of athletes that break the three hour marathon in worldwide marathons each year, right around that. So it's extremely small uh, percentage of people that do this. Uh, to run 222, again, you have to be able to improve your body's lactate tolerance. And to do that, you have to train at your VO2 max, which is your maximum oxygen uptake. It's the point where you're running so fast and so aggressively that your body is building up so much lactic acid, you have to stop and take a breather between each one of your intervals on the track or on the roads. Because again, you're building up so much lactic acid, it's shutting down muscle functioning, and you have to take a breather in between each one of those uh, repetitions. You know, and that's why we, you know, early on when we're not as fit, uh, you know, we need more rest. We're not as anaerobically fit, so we have to take more rest in between each one of those intervals. The intervals aren't as fast early on in the training in a marathon train up, but as you get fitter, you're recovery between each one of those intervals are going to be much less and your pace be paces for those intervals are definitely going to be drastically more aggressive in, in terms of pace. Um, so definitely if you're running 220, if you want to aim at breaking two hours and 22 minutes, um, focus on doing an, a fast, faster, varied pace long run one weekend, followed the next weekend by a relaxed, easy recovery long run. Definitely do more of your weekly volume at a higher percentage of of your maximum heart rate. You have to spend closer to around 40%. And the reason why I say 40% is because I remember listening to a, uh, a presentation by Dr. Joe Vigil where he was talking about uh, the Kenyan athletes and Ethiopians that he was train, training. And he, he asked them about what, what percentage of your weekly volume are you training at or below your goal race pace? And they said around 40%. And they said the biggest reason why most Americans and some Europeans aren't running as, as good as they are is because they simply aren't spending enough time practicing training at their anaerobic threshold and training at their VO2 max. And uh, simply they're just not training sufficiently enough, long enough during their week, their their weekly training and during their their marathon buildup to run as fast as Kenyans and Ethiopians. You know, I've lived with several world class Ethiopians and and Kenyans myself. They put their pants on one leg at a time, just like us. They bleed red, just like us. I've outran some Kenyans myself, some world class Kenyans. So I know they're human too. And if you're going to be able to run with them, you have to follow the guidelines that they follow and, and know that it's not just the physical training you're doing, it's what you're doing on and off the roads and track that's going to guarantee you a sub 222 marathon time. You know, how much sleep are you getting? Uh, how much time are you spending visualizing yourself getting across the finish line with a 221.59 or faster on the clock? You know, uh, how long are your tempo runs? 
what percentage of your weekly volume, again, are you training at or faster than 525 mile pace or three minutes and 22 seconds per kilometer pace? Because if that percentage is too low, then all you're really doing is building endurance. You're building up and, you know, you're building your aerobic base, but anaerobically, you're not training yourself sufficiently enough to be able to sustain pace as effectively as the best marathoners do. So just know that it's a process. It may take you several months. It may take you several years. It may take you a decade to run two hours and 22 minutes. Uh, just like it took me several years to get to a point where I could break 220. But the 222 marathon was my goal as well. Um, you know, stars, lines, and, and everything came together uh, where I was able to hold 519 mile pace or around 318 per K pace as opposed to running 222 marathon pace, which was 525 or 322 K pace. So stick with your plan. Stay motivated, stay driven, um, stay consistent in your training. You know, to run 222, you have got to be 100% committed to this task. So I'm here as a as a guide, as a, as you know, as a coach, and as a guide to you. Um, definitely check out the resources on RunDreamAchieve.com. I have training plans, I have running courses, and monthly coaching as well that are available to you if you want to get to this level. Um, definitely, it's elite level running. So uh, there's three choices in this life: we can be average, we can be good, or we can be great. And greatness is going to ask much, much more out of you uh, than average work. So if you want to run 222 for the marathon, you have got to be 100% committed to greatness. And that involves, uh, like I said, a much higher percentage of your weekly volume training at higher percentages of your maximum heart rate. And a higher percentage of your weekly volume has has have to be dedicated to getting that 525 mile pace or 322 kilometer pace to feel more moderate rather than anaerobic. Again, you want that pace to feel more like a tempo run rather than an all out effort. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Uh, if you have any other questions, leave me a comment below and definitely let me know in the comment section below what is your current best for the marathon and what your goals are, your long term, short term, long term goals are for the marathon. I definitely want to hear about that. So I wish you all the best and I'll talk to you in the next video.